In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on everything you need to know about Bybit spot trading and how you can actually make at least a hundred dollars or more every day trading crypto on the Bybit spot market. So with that being said, if you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Okay, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And if you want to learn more, you can actually join my Telegram group using the link in the video description. Now for you to be able to trade on the Bybit spot market, okay, or any other thing you want to do on Bybit, you need a Bybit account. If you don't have an account already, I have an offer for you for new users. If you sign up with my link, okay. Do let me know on the Telegram group that you signed up with my link and I can send you a link to claim free airdrop that Bybit is currently giving out to all new users. Alright, so sign up with the first link in the video description. It is very simple to sign up, just use your either email address or phone number to sign up with the password and you'll be good to start trading on the Bybit spot market. All right. So with that being said, for the sake of new users, now when you come to the Bybit Exchange, once you sign up for an account, okay, with the link in the video description, the first thing you want to do is to make some deposit into your Bybit Exchange. All right. So you're gonna deposit some USDT um, into your Bybit Exchange and start implementing the strategy that I'm gonna teach you, or you can actually use the Bybit p2p trading option to buy some usdt for yourself so if you want to make deposit let's say you have some usdt you want to deposit or usdc you want to deposit into the bybit exchange or any other crypto of your choice the first thing you want to do is once you open up the bybit app go ahead and click on asset so once you click on asset okay here it brings you here and then the next thing you want to do is to click on deposit so once you click on deposit it brings you to this list of hundreds of crypto okay supported by you know the bybit exchange so what you want to do just to either search you can use the search option here to search for the crypto you want to deposit or if you want to deposit usdt or usdc just go ahead and click on it so let's say you want to deposit usdt if i click on usdt now it brings you to this page now once you're on this deposit page okay the next thing you want to do is to select the network that you want to deposit with okay by default it will bring you to the arbitrum um, one network so you want to make sure you click on this arrow to change the network so if i click on this you see all these different network now the network with the lowest fee for me is either trc20 or you do the bep20 okay either trc20 or bep20 so if you select bep20 make sure that you are selecting bep20 forever from wherever exchange you are withdrawing from if you select trc20 make sure that you are selecting trc20 from wherever exchange you are withdrawing from so if i go with the trc20 let me go ahead and click on that okay so an address will be generated for you all right so an address will be generated for you once an address is generated for you just go ahead and click on copy and that address will be copied so you can now go to your exchange and make deposit whatever deposit you make within a minute or less it will be reflecting on your buy bid spot trading wallet so you can now use that to start trading okay now option two of making deposit into the buy bid exchange is to buy crypto with your local currency using the buy bid p2p so once you're on the home page of the exchange, just go ahead and click on buy crypto. And then once you click on buy crypto, it will tell you to use P2P, use fiat deposit or use the one click buy. Okay, so I prefer you use the one click buy so that you don't start searching for, you know, traders all over. So once you click on the one click buy, it brings you to this page. Now, because I'm in Nigeria, the default currency here is NGN. Okay, and I want to buy USDT. So all i need to do is to add the amount of money i want to use in buying the usdt let's say if i go ahead and click on um that i want to buy usdt worth 100k okay so it will tell you uh, calculate how much you're going to get with the 100k once it tells you that the next thing you want to do just to go ahead and click on next okay once you click on next just follow the on-screen instruction um an account number will be given to you um, where you make the transfer to and when you are making the transfer just use your name in um, the the description okay maybe from your app 
um, it tells you what is the description what is the remark or whatever you are going to use they just use your name don't use crypto don't use by don't use anything related to crypto once you make this transfer okay um, just within minutes okay the USDT you are buying will be credited into your Bybit account all right so once it's credited into your Bybit account the next thing is to go and start trading so now that you know how to make some deposit or buy crypto with the Bybit exchange the next thing is to go to the spot trading option now to start trading spot on the Bybit exchange once you log into the Bybit app all you need to do is to make sure that you go ahead and click on trade okay so click on trace and once you click on trace the next thing you want to do is to make sure that at the top left here you have spot trading okay that you are selecting this one called the trade spot okay because here once you click on trade you have margin then you have trading bot okay but make sure we'll talk about all of this one in a separate video but make sure that you are on the spot trading option okay now that you're on the spot trading option you have chart okay that gives you the chart uh, with different time frame of a particular token that you have selected you want to trade then if you want to start trading you have the trade option here this is the trading panel where you can buy okay or sell all right so we do our analysis on the chart section here which is this one we are currently in and then we do our buying and selling using the trade option here okay so basically that is what i want you to understand so first before we actually start trading we need a coin when you wake up yeah you know in the morning the first thing you want to do is to look for a coin that you want to trade now how do you get those coin that you want to trade so if i go back to the home page of the app you want to scroll down here okay um this is what i want you to pay attention to once you scroll down to this area you have different categories of coins here okay and then the one i'm currently on right now is the gainers list this is what i want you to make use of if you don't know a coin you want to trade if you are not the type of person that stick with just either um popular coins like btc or Ethereum, okay if you are confused of the coin you want to trade make sure that you make use of the gainers list on the bybit exchange okay so here you see that for the past 24 hours this particular token has made over 39 percent okay this one has made over 36 percent this one has made over 34 percent this one has made over 32 percent you can imagine you buying this coin maybe when it was 10 percent okay in the market when it was you know less than 10 percent in the market okay so with this percentage increase you would have been in profit that is the reason why we need to stick with the gainers list all right so once you come to the gainers list you see that here you only have few tokens okay that are reviewed to you here so to see more tokens okay that are less um for this one that are 30 something um 20 something i will just avoid them because um this has gone far already so we want to trade a token that is still less than 10 percent maybe around 10 percent or even less okay so to see more of this token you go ahead and click on more then when you click on more it brings you here so make sure that once you click on more you are on the spot trading tab okay so on the spot trading tab it will give you coins of different sort okay so here you see that you have different coins okay with a very high percentage that has gone up already and the rest so what you want to do once it brings you on the spot you want to make sure that you use the 24 hours change option here to you know filter this okay so if i go ahead and click on the 24 hours change you'll see that it is now giving me the list of the top losers in the market okay the top losers in the market on the spot market okay once i click on this 24 hours change it gives me the the list of top losers in the market all right so you see here that this particular token has gone down by 31 percent this one has gone down by 26 percent and it continues that way so these are all the top losers all right but we are not making use of the top losers all right don't go because a token has dropped by 31 percent you go ahead and buy that token this token could still drop even up to 100 percent most especially when it is an old coin that you don't know that is not very popular so be careful so one thing you want to do again is to make sure that you click on the 24 hours of option okay and then this will give you 
the list of tokens that are popular in the market okay but when you click on it again it gives you the list of the top gainers all right so it gives you the list of the top gainers so the top gainers are the people we want to deal with all right so the next thing you want to do is to scroll down to see some of the tokens that are still less than 10 percent or within 10 percent so you see here some of these tokens are 11 percent okay some are 10 okay the more i scroll down the more you see tokens eight percent seven percent okay so for instance if i'm to trade right now this token is a well-known token this is as infinity okay and if it has done six um seven percent seven point nine percent there is every probability that this token will continue to increase to the upside okay so i know about this token all right so if it has done seven percent there is every tendency that it will increase okay to the upside so you probably have the ethereum wrap all right which has done seven percent and um some other tokens okay some other to popular tokens here some other popular tokens here so make sure that you trade a token that you know okay don't go and trade random token but for the fact that these tokens are making it on the gainers list it means that there is something that other people know that you don't know that is actually making this token to increase okay in percentage for the past 24 hours so what you want to do is to look for a token that is less than 10 percent and then buy that particular token okay so once you see a token you want to trade the next thing is to go ahead and analyze the token okay so to be able to analyze the token just click on it okay let's say we want to use ftt for instance all right ftt is around 1.6 and then it's around six percent okay so if i go ahead and click on ftt now it brings us to the chart okay we are on the chart option and this is the chart and i like trading on spot market i like my time frame to be on the one hour time frame okay so if yours is on the 15 minutes or one day or four hours okay make sure that you change it to the one hour time frame we just want to do this okay using the one hour time frame all right so when you come in here this your chart may be different you may have different indicators like the moving averages on the chart so to enable and disable indicators on the chart you can see all of the indicators on the app okay the app have limited number of indicators so currently what i have here is only the rsi that is why it is the one that is highlighted so anyone that is grayed out just it means that the that particular um token uh, the, that particular indicator is not active on your chart okay so normally i use the rsi and i use the bollinger bands so to add up the bollinger bands i'll just go ahead and click on it once i click on it it will be now it will now be highlighted so once it's highlighted you see it on the chart already once it's highlighted i'm okay with it now the basic way i use this indicator is first for me to be able to buy i want my rsi this is the rsi line okay so to know the current position of the rsi is to look at these numbers here okay so you see that currently the rsi is at 58 all right the rsi where the rsi is currently is now is 58 the number here is 58 but for me to be able to buy because i want to buy low and sell high the rsi has to be anything from 30 downward okay anything from 30 downward that is when i want to buy okay now to get a confirmation of that the bollinger bands okay we have the upper band we have the lower band and then we have the middle band okay so i want my bollinger bands the candlesticks here to be trading below the bollinger bands okay in most cases when i'm doing my analysis if the candlesticks are trading within the middle band let's say it, it is now using the middle band as a support okay because always the market will go up this way come back to retest the middle band and then go up again then when it is trading below it will go up go to test the uh, middle band and then come down again before it finally breaks it when it breaks it continues to go to the upside okay so when we talk about indicators we can explain this more but basically for this spot trading tutorial the way i use this is when the candlestick is below the middle band is trading below the middle band i want to make sure that my rsi number here okay is around 30 or below 30 so it could be 30 it could be 29 it could be 20 it could be 15 it could be 10 then at that area i am looking for a buy a buying opportunity
okay an example would be when the market traded was trading around this area so you see that when the market was trading around this area the bollinger bands the candlesticks were in the lower band of the bollinger bands okay it means that this coin actually went down to 1.5 and then you see where the rsi was trading okay down here if there was a way i could measure this on the phone i would have shown you that this was actually below 30 all around that in a range okay the rsi around this area was below 30 okay so with this way once it is like this all we just need to do is to click on buy and buy the token then we can target either to make one percent or two percent move in the market and sell okay if you don't want to target to make one percent or two percent move in the market and sell what you can do is to wait for the bowling bands for the candlesticks to be either in the middle band or at the upper band okay then you can now sell all right so you can answer but if you are going to set limit order let's say i bought at 1.5 i can decide to sell at 1 you know 0.6 1.7 okay or 1.8 which it actually went up to all right so you just decide to sell and then you get the idea of exactly how much you're going to make i'm going to show you all of that all right now if you want to make adjustment to all of the settings okay of all of these moving averages on the chart on the buy bid app all you need to do is to click on this setting icon here okay this the gear icon not the pencil icon so click on the setting icon if i click on it it pops up this way so the next thing you want to do is to select indicators now when you select indicators these are all the indicators but the one i'm currently using is the bowling japan and then the rsi so if i want to change the rsi i can just click on it okay for the colors you don't have options for this you can just select any of all of these colors that you want but only use one rs i don't use two okay if you select this you can disable this if you select this you can disable any other one so let's say you want to use this color once you use this color make sure you are using the settings here okay so the value here should always be 14 all right the value here should always be 14 it shouldn't be more than that okay so once you do that you go ahead and click on confirm down here and that you know will be set up if you want to do change for uh, the moving average or your bowling japan the same thing just click on it okay so here you see the values you cannot change the color these are just the adjustment you can make okay but just leave the values for the bowling japan as default and basically that is all you need to do to be able to adjust this now let's say we have seen a token that is currently trading around this area okay but for the gainers list once you get the coin from the gainers list and you see the coin that it is actually it has retest the the lower band and it's going up the next thing is just to buy okay so now to buy we just click on buy or you can go ahead and click on trade okay so if i click on buy to still take me to the trade option so just click on buy once i click on buy it brings us to this page okay so it brings us to this page now we are going to buy after we buy we'll use limit order to click to use um do sell okay so for the buy it all depends on when you see the, the the coin okay if it is still pumping then there is need to use market order so if i go ahead and click on the limit option just click on the arrow here i can change it to market order okay change it to market order and once you change it to market order go ahead and select use this option here to select all of the funds you have all of the capital you have or you can go ahead and just use 50 percent or just use a slider okay to select the percentage of what you want to use all right after that you go ahead and click on buy and that will buy with the market order all right then if you want to use limit go ahead and select the limit and you can type your price here so as we saw on the bollinger bands okay when it was trading below the bollinger bands it was around 1.5 okay so 1.5 um let's say we have bought this ftt token at 1.5 and we bought what a thousand dollars for instance okay a thousand dollars of the ftt token would have given us 666 okay 666 and the current price right now is what 1.67 okay so let's say we bought at this is 166 .66, okay at um 1.5 and then we decide to sell at 
so if i come to the sell option here i would just go ahead and say the quantity we bought was six 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 okay point six 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 all right you see that the one thousand dollars worth of ftt token you bought if you sell it at this exact price will now be what one thousand one hundred and eighteen dollars okay so let's assume that we even sold at the 1.7 that this actually went up to okay so if we have sold the same ftt token to what this price actually went up to the same quantity that would have been 1133 dollars okay so you're making 133 dollars in profit all right then if it is 1.6 which is the current price then it means that you're making 100 and what $18 in profit in trading this token alone so it is as easy as that all right so once again once you see a token you come to the chart to make a confirmation okay once the token is trading any token at all you want to trade once it is trading below the lower band okay or within the lower band your rsi should be trading below 30 okay the number of rsi should be below 30 and once it's below 30 go ahead and buy that token okay once you buy the token just wait for it to move up a bit and then you can go ahead and sell okay once you move up a bit you can go ahead and sell all right now the token that i've been trading very often on the bible exchange is a core token since it was listed to search for another token here if i come in here just click on the ftt token to search for the token so if i go ahead and search for core okay so here you have it the core token is the one i want to trade click on it so currently the price is at you know 3.1 so if i go to the chart option all right so you see that the coin is beginning to gain attraction so normally i buy here okay and then my rsi should be you know below 30 all right so when i buy here <coughs> So when i buy here i can now sell at the current price or when the price goes up a bit okay so let's assume that you bought at 2.7 okay if i go to buy now let me change the price to And then let's say i bought this token worth a thousand okay so a thousand will give me about 370 of this token at 2.7 okay now for me to sell 370 of this token for profit okay for those of you who will be calculating how do i know when to sell when it is in profit and the rest what you need to do is because you will not always be looking at the bollinger bands to know when it is trading above the bollinger bands or above the lower band and the rest okay so what you need to do if i go back to the trade again so i want to go ahead remember we bought at 2.7 so 2.7 right and then we put in a thousand dollars here so a thousand dollars would have given us 370 so if i go to the sell option i'll go ahead and say i want to sell 370 of the core token at um let's say i bought at 2.7 right 2.7 so if i say 2.8 it means that your one thousand dollars is now worth how much um no 2.8 sorry not 28 is 2.8 so let's do that again 2.8 okay so what that simply means is that a thousand dollars invested is now worth a thousand and thirty six if you sell at 2.8 okay so this is how you can continue to adjust depending on you know what you're ready to do so if i do 2.9 okay it means that you now have 73 as you can see that 73 dollars in profit all right so if i now do three dollars okay it means that you now have a thousand one hundred and ten dollars okay so if you bought at two seven two point seven and you're selling at three dollars you now have what one thousand one hundred and ten dollars it means that you have made additional one hundred and ten dollars in profit trading this token alone okay 
and this would have happened and played out very well all right so just a recap for you to be able to profit from this once you see a token that is pumping you want to get a confirmation let the token be trading within the lower band let your rsi go below 30 or around 30 go ahead and buy when you buy sell and then calculate what you want to make if it is a hundred dollar you want to make in that trade okay if it is 10 percent if it is five percent whatever percentage you want to make go ahead and do the calculations and then you can use limit order to set okay the order for sale once you sell the order set the order for sell it to be pending so once the price hit that target your order will automatically be triggered once it is triggered you come back again rinse and repeat the process okay so if you are able to apply this strategy i believe that you'll be able to make hundred dollars or more every day trading on the buy bid spot market okay and it all depends on the capital you're starting with okay the size of your account equally depends on how much you are able to make per trade okay so if you have a thousand dollars and above it is very easy to make a hundred dollar or two hundred dollars or more trading on the buy bid spot market all right so i don't intend to make this video too long i hope all i've explained there is understood if you don't understand anything you can join my telegram using the link in the video description or you can always use the comment section to ask your question now if you have gained value from this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with others and if you are new to the channel okay subscribe hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published that is it that is all i have for you in this video once again sign up with the link in the video description for a buy bid account let me know and i will send you a link to claim free airdrops for the buy bid exchange all right thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video